Left-wing Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is uh, embroiled in a bit of a scandal after some pictures went public of him wearing blackface when he was in his late 20s. In one picture, Trudeau is wearing very, very dark makeup on his entire face and neck at an Arabian-themed nights party at the West Point Gray Academy where he was teaching at the time. There's another picture in which Trudeau is wearing a less extreme version of the blackface during a high school talent show in which he sang a Jamaican folk song. So let's discuss this. Conservatives obviously are just falling all over themselves to attack the left of being hypocrites. Oh, when a right winger wears blackface, they have to be destroyed according to the left. But when a left winger wears blackface, it's no big deal. Now, of course, this just isn't true. My analysis is the same on blackface no matter who did it. I don't care if it's Megyn Kelly defending blackface or Justin Trudeau wearing blackface or whatever the case may be. It's not okay. Blackface has a horrible racist past. You can debate, oh, it's for comedy or whatever. And then we get into that conversation about what can just be excused away as it being for comedic purposes, but there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It doesn't matter who did it. Blackface is not okay. The differences start to show up, not in our analysis, but in the person who did its reaction to the blackface. And Justin Trudeau has immediately apologized with no caveats, period. Not I apologize if anybody was offended, right? That bull, you know what it is, that BS thing. Um, almost forgot I was on uh, broadcast radio and TV there. That BS thing about if anyone was offended, I apologize. Justin Trudeau saying, quote, I shouldn't have done that. I should have known better. And I didn't. I'm really sorry. This is what's called a real apology. When he was asked if he thought that the photograph was racist, he said, yes, it was. I didn't consider it racist at the time, but now we know better. So one set of very clear differences between some, some instances of blackface and other instances of blackface is the reaction from the person involved or the person commenting. You might remember former Fox News host, and is she former NBC? Has she completely been let go from NBC or is she just in a reduced role? Megyn Kelly said on that really wacky daytime NBC show she had for a little while, what's the big deal with blackface anyway? Sort of like reminiscing nostalgically about the era of blackface. That is very different from Justin Trudeau saying this was wrong. Even if I didn't recognize it as racist at the time, it's racist. No excuses. I'm sorry. So that is one major difference. Number two, I do believe that it matters when the person can credibly say this was a mistake. Blackface is racist but there's no link whatsoever to my policies as an elected official versus a politician who was not only caught wearing blackface, but also supports racist policies, has a history of saying racist things, whatever. So it's not about, you know, the what, if the person is on the left, we treat them differently than if the person is on the right. It's just wrong. It's wrong, period. And there should be apologies with no caveats whatsoever. But there is a difference between someone who defends having worn blackface and perpetuates racist policies versus someone who doesn't and says it was completely wrong. Now, either way, this is not good for Justin Trudeau. There's no question about that. He actually has sort of what I think of as a bigger scandal uh, that could be an impediment to his reelection in October's uh, uh, Canadian election, which is that he is accused of having pressured a prosecution to be dropped, which would be really, really bad. And by the way, the timing of the blackface thing, clearly someone had this for a long time. These were not pictures that were buried in some way and not available. Clearly, the, the timing of the release has been calculated. It doesn't make the blackface anything different than what it is, which is wrong. Not a defense of the blackface, but this isn't a yearbook that's been around forever. Clearly, this could have come out any time. And the timing, just uh, literally a month ahead of the October 21st Canadian elections, we'll see what effect it has, and we will follow uh, what happens with our friendly neighbors to the north.